censored the media. Anonymous is populated by people who spend a lot of time on the internet. So in their various journeys uh, across the internet, most of them will have encountered uh, Scientology stories from one time or another. And as such, for many people, the knowledge of Scientology was something, somewhere in the back of their minds. Um, so when there was this call to arms, to, um, it somehow, well, it rung a bell. Yes. Um, and when the anonymous people uh, mixed into the ex-Scientology scene, and their, their websites uh, became active again, and information started pouring back and forth between all the different groups and media and uh, long-time activists, the press. And, of course, the fact that it is written on the web um, and it stays there, well, it served as a catalyst for uh, creating a perfect system for Scientology. And I think that's uh, what Anonymous does not forget actually means. Um, let me skip a few things. Um, well, the internet is serious business, and that's a phrase that is used to remind us all that, in fact, it is not. Um, you take things you encounter on the internet lightly, and try not to get offended in any way, and don't try to get in the way of free speech. Uh, when that concept is threatened, the internet denizens tend to take it, uh, tend to take it personal and react by defending the idea whenever is necessary. And as such, occasionally, perhaps, the internet is somewhat serious. Um, One of the phrases in the original message to Scientology was, for each of us that falls, 10 more will take its place. Um, of course, this, uh, this shouldn't be taken literally, but it somehow, it did happen. And, um, well, uh, Scientology, Scientology, just like any person who takes himself too seriously, uh, constantly creates their own enemies uh, by their actions, uh, such as censorships and, uh, well, the way they speak out against their enemies. And, well, they don't understand the internet, and they keep making the same mistake over and over and over again, simply because they work by 50-year-old procedures, and uh, I don't think that they uh, will ever change and ever understand it. So, in that, uh, perhaps it is... Uh, Perhaps it is an easy target, but because you just know what, the, what their next step will be and what they will do. Um, so, what is next? Um, what will become of Anonymous? Um, I think most of you, have, everyone knows about what's, uh, what's going on in Iran. Um, the protests in Iran on the internet, um, well, it's, it's, it started somewhere in, uh, on the internet, and uh, sites like uh, Twitter, of course, were, uh, were heavily used uh, in the beginning. Um, Iran closed all of the outgoing uh, news, and no one was capable of getting any information out through the official websites. Now, a few of the same people in, um, who were uh, dealing with Scientology decided that it would uh, be a nice idea to help them out, copy the website that we already have, uh, but for a different purpose. And, uh, well, I hope that uh, some people in Iran have used it. Um, well, of course, I have used it, but uh, for something useful. Um, Of course, um, we knew about proxies and such, so we set up lots of, uh, lots of proxies. Um, 
And uh, well, we managed to get a, quite, a, quite a lot of information out of IRAM. Um, I think it's almost time, so I'll skip a few things. Yeah? OK. Um, same stuff going on in China. Um, but, um, well, that's about it, I guess. Then. Yes. unrehearsed, so yeah, of course, on occasion things went wrong. Uh, does anybody have a question, a comment, a statement, um, a mask, a slogan? Yes. My question is, um, you always uh, <clears throat> talk about anonymous like it's uh, some kind of political group, having an agenda, having some enemies. Um, you told us something about these fun factor protests yeah. also should have activism in the internet should have but what I miss is that uh, especially project technology is highly uh, it, it, it's not uh, so popular as it's uh, uh, demonstrated here uh, at the image boards because uh, it's just not only for for the fun of it, for the rules, and so on. Um, there is a very great skepticism against anything that's serious, uh, that's uh, in real life business, and so on. There is that whole discussion about um, anonymous is no one's personal army standing up for some moral targets against some evil threats, well. whatever. It's for the fun of it, and um, yeah. I think a very large part of this anonymous uh, community would laugh about this presentation because they would say, hey, it's on Chinese pornography and humiliating people and about some really bizarre sex pictures, and what you're telling us is something, some moral facts to somewhere else. Yeah, well, it could be. <laughs> um, yeah, well, there are two or perhaps more different groups, um, but hey, uh, it's anonymous, so you can do whatever you want, and if that's what you like, go ahead. Um, yeah, you can step out or join or don't. You don't, you don't always need to believe what anonymous says about itself, so you yes. can say something about anonymous while being anonymous, and those two might actually be in a conflict. I don't know, perhaps you would like it if I showed some weird pornography here, I don't know, but, um, well. <laughs> Is there another question? I find it a bit difficult. No? In that case, I wish you a really nice evening. Thank you all for coming here, and a nice round of applause for Hank de Vries.